Hi, my name is Steve Green. I'm CEO of Alpha Marketing, and today I'm here to talk to you about going beyond inbound marketing to open the way to your customer. Now, Alpha is a channel marketing agency, so inbound marketing is very important to us. Inbound marketing is about online discovery and enabling customers to find you. It's the practice of converting visitors to your website into customers. To this end, there are lots of best practices on how to do inbound marketing. There's content management, thought leadership, having an editorial calendar of when you're publishing your content, and all of this sits on an inbound platform. Now, a key objective of inbound marketing is to generate sales leads, but here's where things get really interesting. There are at least five other relationships that inbound marketing is not best suited to. The relationship between the brand and the sales team, the brand and the consumer or end user, the relationship between the sales team and the customer, and between the customer and the consumer, and the relationship between the sales team and the consumer. So what I'd like you to do is take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Consider the challenges you face as a marketer. The different routes to market that provide your sales pipeline, the multiple channels or way of doing business with your company, and the experiences your customers have with your organization. The positioning of the brand and the messaging behind that positioning drives everything. Whether it's B2B or B2C, it doesn't matter. Your messaging and positioning will alter slightly, but it's at the core of everything you need to bring to each of your audiences. And the first audience you need to bring your brand to is the sales team. When you bring your brand to the sales team, you're educating them, bringing them up to speed on where your focus is and where your positioning is in the marketplace. The big thing you want to bring to them is confidence and some energy. They're, after all, out there on the sharp end doing the selling. This is where sales enablement comes in. If you look at the sales enablement tools that are out in the marketplace today, they are focused on specific industries, verticals, and personas. Sales enablement is a practice of giving your salespeople the tools they need to do their job. Let's take a look at some of the key things you need to consider. Look at the industries and verticals, the different personas that they're likely to encounter, the market situation, where the competition is in the marketplace and how they stack up to your products and services. There are case studies, there are different enablement kits that you can pull together, and then there's social media. Social media is unique in that it can be audience specific and therefore has a role to play throughout the entire marketing ecosystem. Once you have all these tools in place, you can focus on the customer. Now the customer needs to be approached in different ways beyond than simply by the salespeople. Let's take a look at the different tools that the customer can have. There's trade advertising, information about your company, events, direct marketing, promotions, market development funds, co-op, and other financial incentives you may want to provide to your customer to incentivize them to sell more. The third audience is the consumer, and for the consumer, it's all about the experience, whether it's online, in-store, or after sale. And remember, there's lots of different channels involved, which are ways for consumers to do business with your company. So now let's talk about some of the communication tools, starting with traditional media advertising, where the focus is on awareness and consideration. Remember that advertising exists to build the brand. Everything else exists to support the brand. Uh, nowhere is this more true than with social media. Now I've broken up social media into two parts here. On the trade side, social media is focusing on industry analysts, groups, association, experts. These are all influencers that other people look to. On the consumer side, you're talking about bloggers, friends, family, and other third parties. So when you put it all together, you have the awareness and consideration from your advertising and media, the brand saliency to be top of mind through social media. You've enabled your sales force with sales enablement tools for them to do their job, and you provide the customer with ways to make it easier for them to do business with you. Then, of course, you do have your inbound marketing. Pull it all together, and that's how you open the way to your customer.